Hey everybody, um, this is a structure. We're going to do something a little new this morning as we talked about Enzolytics because just so much has been coming down. It just, it's just been raining gold um, for DD here. And I know I don't usually do DD in the channel, but I, I think it's just worth diving into. So, uh, you know, and a lot of this is going to be familiar to us, but June 14th, you know, Enzolytics uh, dropped their latest PR um, talking about the clinical trials for the anti HIV. Um, now that was that was big news for us, and when we um, woke up this this weekend, um, there was Insider Financial dropping it. Uh, Enzolytics takes on HIV heavyweight uh, Gilead Sciences. So I mean, this was just awesome, and the DD in here is solid. If you have not read this article, uh, and this PR is of interest to you this is the next step this insider financial absolutely where you need to go and uh and i'm not saying that insider financial was calling a price target but geez when you look at where they're trading now at 67 dollars, and considering that enzolytics is currently at 20 cents um it becomes very exciting very exciting very quickly um i'll jump into uh this this next one here um our buddy James, uh, you know, dropping it in typical st uh, fashion, uh, tweeted this out 11 hours ago. Uh, it's time. Um, and that was to our Dr. Chandra of Enzolytics. Um, now, a lot of us are, are thinking that that means it's time for the third interview, but we really don't know. Um, and, and, you know, it, ah, it's, just, it's just so exciting. And James is such a great guy. He's been so good at uh, leading this discussion. And if I remember correctly, the third session is supposed to be the Enzolytics team. Uh, it'll be interesting to see who joins uh, Dr. Chandra for this. Um, I want to jump into the third piece that came out. Um, and that was uh, this tweet right here from Dr. Chandra, where he, uh, he talks about an envisioned consortium, right? So a consortium is a combination of companies. Um, and we've already seen what they're doing with Intel uh, he's mentioned in previous tweets uh, that they are looking at partnering with biopharmaceutical companies. Uh, I'm sure people like the Godfather um, could drop in extra DD on this. I would love it if you would uh, if you'd be willing to comment on uh, on this. Um, but uh, but yeah, I mean, there's a lot here. And the thing that in interested me is that he drops in Naveen Jain, right, CEO. And Naveen Jain, he was a uh, you know, he was known um, for his um, his uh, time in the internet doing info space. But um, when you dig into his bio a little bit more, um, for one, there's a company called Viome um, that provides nutritional genomics testing and analysis services, especially the gut flora, provides dietary advice. Now, I have no idea if there's a connection there with Enzolytics, but that's interesting. But the thing that caught me was that... Um, this guy's on the board of the X Prize Foundation, um, and that is huge because, and that connects some dots I've pointed out before, because X Prize is looking at how to change the world positively with AI, um, and uh, this is the Pandemic Alliance on X Prize, and Intel's on it. So. And and there's a lot of big people in here: IBM, Nvidia. Um, I am wondering if if this is part of the grand scheme. Basically, I'm wondering if you have uh, Intel bringing Enzolytics in with these heavy hitters, um, you know, and possibly even uh, into this health and pandemic alliance, because that would be astronomical for uh, for Enzolytics. And I just I just uh, I think it's very cool um, if we were to jump into the chart just quickly, 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 quickly. We see uh, Friday just, <laughs> just, and it was it was such a sleeper, and then boom, and look at that. Um, you know, I told you I used my ADWM for my buy signal. Solid, solid buy signal right there. Um, we did go into oversold. I mean, no, sorry, overbought on the uh, slow stochastic. You'll be curious to see if that curves right back up this morning. Um, uh, but we're basically uh, running that that uh, 20 on the one-day time range. I wouldn't put a whole lot of a 
um, weight behind that one-day timeline, but it is interesting. Um, you can see right there we are curving up on the nine months into a buy signal. Um, but right here, I called a double bottom right here. Down, oops, sorry, my apologies. Down, bounce, down, up. And with double bottoms, they say the amount of the drop, this space right here, would also be the amount of the raise or rise. Um, so that 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 is getting us up into the 45 uh, cent area. Exciting, exciting times. Enzolytics kicking ass. Let's go.